What's up guys, Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com Back with another amplifier test, but wait a minute Audio pipe, 1500 watts, this is not old school What's going on Big D? Alright guys, so the reason I have this audio pipe AP15001D on my bench is really just curiosity. This amplifier is under $150 and promises 1500 watts. Now, I'm a lot older than 16, but I can imagine when I was back 16 years old, if I could get an amplifier 1500 watt amplifier for $150 I would have gone crazy because we were paying you know many dollars per watt back then but anyway so I decided to go ahead you know with my own money and buy one of these that way I'm gonna give it a test like I do all my amps and you know nobody has paid me to do this this is like I said my own money to buy this amplifier so I'm just curious and I'm sure a lot of you guys out there are probably curious as well so we're gonna test it at four ohms two ohms and one ohm and see what it'll do so stick around and let's uh, let's power this baby up I'll just do a quick tour here of the the different uh, items we have going on as you can see at the top here we have the LED light which tells us the power zone there's a little remote, um, looks like a 3.5 millimeter there for the base knob. It came with a base knob. We have RCA inputs and then we have bridge inputs. You can strap two of these together to double the power. And we have the gain, of course, uh, low pass filter, subsonic filter, the bass boost frequency, and the bass boost itself. So it's kind of like a parametric EQ there. And on this side we have four speaker terminals, but actually there, it's really just two. They're bridged together, so your plus and minuses. There's two pluses over here, two minuses on this side, so that way you can uh, have easier connection to hook your speakers up. And there you can see the power, remote, and ground connection, and it accepts four gauge power straight into the terminals. All right, and now what I'm doing other than giving myself a big headache is I've got the amplifier hooked up and I'm gonna warm it up. I usually run it for about 15 minutes to get it to operating temperature. That way, um, you know, we have consistent results. And we're just running a 40 hertz test tone into this Infinity um, Perfect 12 inch subwoofer. And we'll give it, like I said, about 15 minutes and we'll start the test. Okay, we have the audio pipe 15001D hooked up to a 4 ohm resistive load and we have 14 volts going into the amplifier. So we're going to see the amplifier is rated at 600 watts at less than 1%. Let's see if we can get a nice shot here and I'm sorry I'm going to handhold this because I'm going to show you the amount of amperage that, that's pulled, the current that's pulled as well. There you see the 40 hertz detect. All right, we have distortion at 610 watts, pretty hard. Let's back it down a little bit. Keep backing it down. Looks like 504. The waveform still looks clipped to me, but the DD1 says we don't have distortion. So we're going to go with the DD1 because this Valaymon's um, resolution is not that great. So 504 watts, and just out of curiosity, let's see how many amps we're pulling. 44.7 amps of current. So that's pretty good. A little bit underrated. 
but 504 watts at four ohms. And now we have the audio pipe AP15001D connected at 2 ohms and 40 hertz signal going in. Let's see what kind of power we get. Oh, that's hard clipping there. 1190 watts. Let's back it down. Looks like according to the DD1 844.6 watts and we're pulling 79 almost 80 amps from the battery or the power source in this case so 844.6 watts wow pretty impressive Right now we have the bad boy one ohm load for the audio pipe AP 15001D. We're expecting 1500 watts with less than 1% distortion. So we're gonna got the meter set here to volts RMS and we'll do the calculation for you. I'll show that on the app on the iPhone. So let's turn it up, 40 hertz signal. Distortion looks like 33.4 volts and we're pulling 130 amps of current from the battery 33.4 all right and here's the calculation thanks to ohm's law we have 33.4 volts rms at one ohm resistance and that gives us a power of 1115 watts 1115 that is the true continuous RMS power output at one ohm of this amplifier. So, think you're getting 1500 watts? Well, not quite. But honestly, 1100 watts. Now, remember we're at 14 volts, so maybe if you feed it 16 volts, you could get that 1500 watts. But uh, we'll do the, the efficiency calculation and we'll see based on these numbers what kind of efficiency we'll get and then we'll we'll give an estimate of what you'd get at 16 volts if everything stays the same all right guys what we're going to show here is the efficiency at one ohm and what we've done is we've taken the amperage that we got from clamping times the voltage and got 1820 then we took our 1115 watts that was actually measured and divided by 1820 and that gives us 61% efficiency. So just out of curiosity we took 16 volts and put that in the equation and got 2088. Multiply 2088 times 0.61 for efficiency and we get 1274 watts. Alright, here's one more measurement that I thought would be kind of cool. Is I got one of these um, Raytec temperature meters. It's an IR temperature meter, and this one actually is made by Fluke. So I like to see what kind of temperatures we're getting for the amp. Looks like a hundred. It's right at a hundred degrees on the amplifier. Too bad I didn't have this out with the Orion because I know it was a lot warmer than that. We'll move it around just a little bit to see if there's any areas where it's warmer. Nope. It's right around 100 degrees after pumping out the one ohm load for a while. So anyway, just a cool little measurement there to let you know how warm your amp will get when you're running it hard. All right, guys, there you have it. The test old school stereo.com of the audio pipe ap 15001d just a reminder folks this was a bench test we did not hook the amplifier up to speakers other than just the warm-up process so as the instance with the orion 2250 sometimes the numbers the wattage output numbers don't tell you everything so it's very important 
to listen to your amplifier with speakers because that's how you're going to listen to it. You're not going to use a test bench and resistors to listen to your amp. So I wanted to get this video out as soon as possible. So I'm just going to show you the raw numbers. I'm not doing any kind of a speaker test. So um, we'll do a speaker test in the near future. But for now, we're just showing off the numbers and what we got a little bit under the ratings that audio pipe provides but again for under 150 dollars it's tough to beat these numbers guys this is big d Wiz, old school stereo.com stay tuned for more amplifier tests and other old school items and maybe some new ones too i'm out of here